What's cracking, guys? We got Twin Two Cam Garage. Big Murph, I think, is selling his Integra, and we got a bunch of other channels to check out. Let's get in this. We're back. What's cracking guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Honda Recap. If this is your first time watching this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and that notification so you're told every Monday night at 8 o'clock when this thing airs. Thank you all for tuning in for yet again another episode of the Honda Recap. We're back. I got my PC built. We're getting back to the way we used to do the Honda Recap, how we used to hang out on Monday nights. I'm super happy about this. It's been a long time coming, but you know what? I've kept on my grind. I've kept making videos, and you know what? I've been saving up a lot, I'm not gonna lie. So we got a cool PC built, having fun. Videos are gonna start coming out a lot more, even me personally, and the recap is gonna get that much better. We got a bunch of stuff to cover, so let's go ahead and get in this. First off, I wanted to start out with some channels that we haven't talked about in the past. To start this off, we got K-Bros. Cool group of guys out in Florida. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you should. You probably saw them on Zoss's channel not too long ago when he went to go pick up his K24A2, but these guys are super cool. In the latest video, they got a K24 hatch doing its first startup, getting things going. They got a bunch of other cars on the channel. Definitely check them out. I think they're just starting. Definitely go out, check them out, give them a subscribe, let them know Honda Vlog sent you, and thanks Zosh for basically showing me who they are. Awesome, guys. Next up, we got Tosuka out in Holland. This guy has got an EJ9 hatch. It's possibly an EK4. I'm not sure how they work out there in Holland. It's definitely an EK hatch. I'm not sure on the chassis code on how you guys work things out there in Holland in the UK. There might be a different variations of the same chassis, but he's got a Phoenix Yellow EK hatch. Really cool guy. Basically showing you what he's got going on. He just picked this car up. I think he's got another car he didn't actually get rid of. So we got, I think, two, maybe three cars on this channel. Really cool guy. He definitely knows what he's doing, and he's going to have a lot of fun. I'm really, I'm really happy I found you. Don't really know too many other channels out there in Holland. If you're watching this and you do, definitely let me know. I'd love to tune into what's going on out there. All right, guys, let's talk about what's been going on this week in the Honda world. Like I said, if this is your first time ever watching this, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and that notification so you're notified every Monday night at 8 o'clock when this thing airs. Essentially, what I'm basically trying to do here is go over everything that's been going on in the past week here on YouTube. So if you got school, family, work, and you miss out, you can't really binge on your favorite creators, I'm right here going over the highlights of what's been going on in the Honda universe. And with that said, I want to kick this off with Deadbeat Garage. All you guys know what this guy's up to, the Khaki Civic. He's had a B20 VTEC getting slowly built, and in the latest episode, he actually painted the block. It's an awesome color. I think he actually wanted to do black originally, but Hush Performance has a black block. Kyle and Boosted Boys, he just made a black block. So you know what? He was like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to do something a little bit more original, and I really am excited to see that color in person one day, hopefully. He showed you how he went ahead and painted the block. It looks great. It's got some sparkle to it. It's going to be outstanding. I'm glad you're making videos again. Khaki Civic is on its way to being one of the coolest EFs here on YouTube. Super props on that, dude. Following that, we got Wyatt, Sketchy DA. You've been following along with his build. He's had the coupe. It's been doing really well. And he actually cracked the sleeve on the block hanging out. And you know what? That's the way Wyatt does things. He was just like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to send it. He drove it on a cracked block. No coolant. But you know what? That didn't stop him. In the latest episode, he actually took the whole thing apart. He started to see what's going on internally. And you know what? He's just going to start the rebuild right there. So you know what, man? Nothing's going to stop you. I really like the fact that you were like, you know what? If it runs, it's late at night. I can probably make it. I'm not trying to pay $200 for a tow. Let's just get home. And that's exactly what you did. Next up, we got the old favorite Wrench Life 604. This guy's out in Canada. Has a bunch of cool videos. And in his latest one, he actually showed you how to do a timing belt on a CRV. B series just right there in your garage didn't have to pull the motor or anything and it's really cool because you know what this guy's a mechanic by trade he essentially has got a bunch of tools everything you would kind of need but he does everything how you would be able to do it if you don't have a lot of tools so I really respect that I really love that you did the breakdown and basically showing you how to do everything with the jack stand right there in your garage all right following that we got Chris Sadowski with the $200 Civic project in his latest video he actually showed you an EJ that he picked up super cheap and then instantly, as soon as he got it home, the motor's out, the engine bay's clean, and in his latest video, he made a kind of DIY radiator subframe that he needed to put in. I guess the old one was kind of bad. He just made one for himself, 
painted it, it looks great. He actually took the loom out and basically redid the entire wiring harness. It looks really good. I'm super happy that you got a new project, you're keeping the Del Sol, and you're kind of just slowly building this up with all the things and all the knowledge that you already have. It's gonna turn out great. Speaking of coming out great, we got Zosh and the K24, episode seven of the build. Episode six was a K20A2 oil pump going into K24A2. After that, episode seven is actually hooking up with Hasport, getting brand new mounts, brand new axles, and getting everything he needs actually in the engine bay ready for the engine. I'm pretty sure episode eight is gonna have something to do with the motor going in, at least I hope so, but it's so awesome to see how fast this build is coming together. Nothing is stopping you. You prepared all the stuff advanced, so by the time you were actually ready to get the engine in the car, you already had things. No hiccups here, you're just pumping out content, man. Props to you, I know how much hustle you're putting into this build right now. Following that, we got Boosted Boys getting the Odyssey back on the road. For a while, you know, the Odyssey was kind of down, wasn't really using it that often, but hasn't stopped you. Kyle, Kyle's hanging out with Brent, getting the H-Series back running in the Odyssey, and I'm super happy that you actually did that. I was watching PFI on Instagram. Looks like you guys went to an all-van meet late at night. It's really cool to know that there's other van enthusiasts out there, and I know they were super happy to see you there, so keep it going, dude. Next up, we got Hunter tuned as you all know he's got the ek hatch with the b20v back in it and running in the latest episode he put 2200 cc injectors into this car i i can't imagine how much power he's going to put down i'm still waiting for everything to come into fruition so you can actually get a dyno i really want to see all this effort that you've put into this hatch i want to see how much power you literally make on your own tune in the car i know as soon as you actually get that to happen it's going to change your life following that we got young static putting wide bands in the crx speaking of hunter tune he was actually trying to hustle to get everything together in the crx so hunter can actually remote tune the car but you know what teamwork he knew that you know what i know static's going to get this done even though hunter had some stuff to do later on in the afternoon sent him a base map you know what static knew exactly what to do put that on the ecu get the car running dial in as much as he can and then wait for the time that hunter can actually come in and kind of fine tune everything so i love the collaboration there i love that you guys are just working together and you kind of work texting each other trying to figure out what exactly you need to do sp tuning pablo basically working on the devcon nitrous build i'm really happy that you're back putting effort into this block putting the challenge build on hold because you know what you already had this going i think you're running stock crank but you're using certain rods and you actually had to notch some of the pistons that's crazy but i love the fact that you guys are all just using random parts i know yost does this as well frankenstein motors it's awesome you're using everything at your disposal to make as much power as cheaply as possible i commend you all for that following that we got auto sauce debuting the car they're actually going to use for the honda challenge it's an ek sedan i love these cars i like when people build them it's really cool it's got awesome lines i like the fact that you were able to pick it up just for uh you know random parts you were able to make get it in a trade that's really cool it keeps the cost down jeremy and ron both looked very excited that they got this new build i'm super excited to see what motor you're actually going to put into it next up we got steven ocasio actually went out to yonkers out there in new york trying to figure out what car he was actually going to help his brother get i think they settled on an ek coupe really cool you were out there hanging out with your dad like let's go check out this car and make sure it's running looks like it turned out to be a really good car so props to you man i'm glad you're getting another car maybe some more content coming out on a different chassis well similar chassis different build excited to see what comes with that following that we got Froman Productions and another CRX. Last time we talked about him, he got a free shell. I think it was a free shell. And this one is an automatic CRX. I think he's actually getting it because he's pulling an engine out of the car, but he gets to keep the shell. I hope I'm right on that. If I'm not, let me know in the comments below. But it's really cool that you guys are bringing the CRXs back. Young Static has been trying to keep them alive for quite some time. So I'm super happy that all you other guys out there are loving the EF chassis or trying to keep them alive and back on the road. Speaking of CRXs, we got SI Rico finally debuting what he's been cooking this entire time. His latest video had his unboxing to the hybrid racing shifter. This latest video actually showed you how he was going to mount it in the car. He made its own plate, showed you how he's going to do it in the installation. It's a very, it's a hefty video. Definitely check it out. I think it's like 20 or 25 minutes, but he explains to you exactly why he's building it that way and how well it feels once installed. I'm happy that you're doing this. Not many people are kind of showing you what you can do with the shifter and how it feels. And Rico does a really, really great job of breaking that down. Following that, we got Chris, Lazy Man Garage, finally putting some work into his own car. Well-deserved, man. Putting 
brake lines in the car is a first step. You know, I'm really happy that, you know what, even though you're helping your friends, you're just like, you know what, I have a project too and I wanna work on it. People have been helping you out, of course. In the latest video, he actually shows you how, what he's gonna use and how he's gonna go about hardlining the entire CRX with brake lines. I'm really happy to see how that turns out. I'm really interested in doing that myself in the, in the future, but I'm really happy that you're gonna do it and I can definitely lean on you to get some more information since it's something you just did. All right, next up we got Big Murph. In his latest video, he actually says that he's done with the Integra. He thinks, he out, he thinks he's outgrown it. He's definitely got the hatch, B20 VTEC. That's getting sorted out, but he's had the Integra for like, three years, maybe four years, he said. He wants something different. I think everybody understands that. He wants to go something real wheel drive. I think in his latest video, he was kind of saying he was looking at an S14. That's cool, you know what I mean? You gotta expand your horizons. I actually had a cool talk with Adam Ivel about, you know what, you gotta drive other cars, and I completely understand that. Considering I come from the Honda world, front wheel drive is what we're used to. I used to have an S2000 long ago, and it's just a different experience. So you know what, man? If selling the Integra and moving on to an S14 or an S chassis is something you're really interested in, don't let anyone stop you. It's definitely cool. You'll have the hatch and everybody knows you'll most likely be back. You said you would with a four door as well. Anyways, man, have fun with whatever you're doing. It's definitely cool content. I'd love to see what you would do to an S14. Following that, another Integra, we got Brandon from Motor Nubs. Haven't seen a video from you in a while, man. Super happy that you decided to go over a fresh tune from J Mills Tuning, just showing you, you know, what is actually in your engine, how the Integra is doing. I'd love your content. I hope you make some more. I really enjoy your uh, GPU mining content. That's just for my own personal interest, but I'm really happy Motor Nubs is getting some love and the Integra is starting to come alive. If you haven't been catching up on Brandon and Motor Nubs, you definitely should check out this latest video because he goes over what the engine actually has, how it was built and how much power it's making. It's a good intro video if you haven't caught up to a lot of stuff that he's already done in the past. All right, and last but not least, we got Twin 2Cam Garage. This is one of the longest EF builds ever, man, but you were putting in a lot of effort and you're very detailed. This guy's out there in the UK. I think he's got a GSR or ITR swapped with ITB EF hatch. It's very well taken care of, very knowledgeable. In his latest video, he actually shows you what throttle cable and bracket he's going with to get the whole thing sorted out. I found your channel long ago. I'm really happy that you're making content again. Keep putting out videos, man. I wanna see where you wanna end up with the hatch. All right, guys, with that said, that's it for this week of the Honda Recap. I hope you guys enjoy the new format. Well, back to the new for back to the old format, but it's new to a lot of the new people. Thank you all. We broke 4,000 subscribers. That's a huge monument to me and to the community. So I wanna thank everybody out there. I wanna give a big props out there to Whitfield for sending me out a hat and some shirts. Support you, support the people that support you guys, anybody out there. If you see somebody in the comments down below that you know, if you watch their channel, let them know what's up. Start a conversation down below. If you got questions for me or ideas for me, definitely let me know down in the comments. Everybody's information will be in the description below. If you're not following somebody, click on it, go to their channel, give them a subscribe peruse through their content. A lot of us put a lot of effort into our videos, so you know what? If you like one video, watch another, watch another, get part of their channel as well. Everybody is trying to build their own little community out here in Honda Vlogs. Let them know Honda Vlogs sent you. Head over to hondavlogs.com slash shop, pick yourself up a shirt, pick yourself up a hoodie, support the channel, support the movement, and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.